Hey folks, welcome to Embers Only Barbecue. Today we're doing spin class for lamb. Our first thing we're going to do is get some salt and pepper on these beautiful racks of lamb. And then we're going to do a little trick I learned from Thomas Keller and just uh, render that fat cap down before we start cooking it in our grill. So just a little bit of kosher salt and fresh pepper. And then we're going to season the fat side as well. All right, so a little rack of lamb hack I learned from Thomas Keller, who's a huge fan of the uh, website, by the way, is we're going to sear these uh, racks in a little bit of canola oil, fat side down, just to get them browned a little bit. And that's going to make the fat uh, just beautiful once we're finally cooked. So we're going to do two minutes, fat side down, get that browned up, and then we're going to get these bad boys on the grill. All right, so two minutes in a medium hot pan. Uh, our fat looks good and brown. We're going to get some uh, some fresh herbs on this and then get it ready for the Kamado Joe. All right, so now we're going to get our racks onto our spit here. So we want to go down the center of the loin. And... Just like that. Okay. Right, and for our second guy here, we're gonna go opposite, just for for weight distribution. You want to make sure you're you're cranking down tight. Uh, for more jotisserie tips, be sure to see our award-winning video. Uh, link the buff. All right, so there's our spit. We'll get it on the grill. All right, so for rotisserie cooks where you're trying to hit a certain temperature, I highly recommend any kind of wireless thermometer. We use the meter here, and we're just going to get this into the uh, into the meat here, the deepest part, and just want to avoid that spit. And then we'll be able to monitor our cook as we go. All right, so grill stabilized at 400 degrees. I'm going to open this up. Coals have ashed over. And now we're going to go ahead and get our racks in. Yeah. Fit nice. And we'll start them spinning. All right, 10 minutes in. we got about 10 minutes to go. Uh, we prepared these lovely little carrots here with a very simple salt, pepper, and beef tallow. We're going to drop them underneath the racks. Which are just unbelievable. So we'll see if we can get some lamb droppings down there. And those are going to cook pretty fast. We're going to want to make sure we're stirring that uh, every now and then, probably every minute or two. All right, our lamb has hit 133. So we're gonna take it off the heat here, let it rest, and get our carrots out of there. Looks and smells amazing right now. Beautiful. All right, so our racks have rested about 10 minutes here. We're going to get them off the spit and carved up and ready. And we're going to do two bone pieces here. I like to follow the bone down. And the key is like once you get down here, there's usually some little piece that you want to get through for a clean slice. But that looks great. Medium rare plus, just like we want. All right, so we like to finish this meat with some Florida de sel, which is a nice flaky finishing salt. Uh, but I think it's always good to salt your meat uh, afterwards because the inside didn't get much salt. So we'll salt both sides. 
super juicy, super flavorful. The smell here is incredible. And then we like to finish all of our meats uh, with a nice homemade chimichurri sauce, just an Argentinian barbecue sauce. Super delicious, garlic, parsley, oregano, shallots, red wine vinegar, olive oil. It's lovely. All right, so there you have it, Jotisserie Rack of Lamb. Hope you enjoyed that. We're definitely about to enjoy this. And if you like that, uh, please leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.